A man who Cobb County prosecutors say posed as a doctor and performed cosmetic procedures on women is on trial for racketeering and the unlawful practice of medicine. It was more than 10 years ago that our I team first reported on the legal problems of then Dr. Nathaniel Johnson. He was convicted of Medicaid fraud and lost his license to practice medicine. Now, Cobb prosecutors say after serving time, Johnson began practicing medicine again. A senior I team reporter Dale Russell was in court as the case unfolded. And he said, oh no, I can make you look like this. I see all these awards on the wall. I'm thinking, I found the doctor of my dreams. But Nathaniel Johnson, the man Monique Brocious consulted with, prayed with, and she says performed a cosmetic procedure on her, wasn't a licensed doctor. I didn't have a reason not to think that he wasn't a doctor. Did anyone else call him doctor? Everybody that worked in the office called him doctor. It's not the first time the I-team has reported on Nathaniel Johnson's troubles in a courtroom. They thought he was a doctor. I don't see how they could have done that. Eleven years ago, the Fox 5 I-team investigation found then Dr. Johnson allowed this man, Jeff Romeus, to pose as a licensed doctor in Dr. Johnson's gynecology practice. Romeus was a Guyana Medical School graduate, but not a licensed doctor. He's not a doctor, and he have looked inside of me and did things that a doctor, only a doctor should do. Following our report, the state prosecuted Dr. Johnson, and he no. pled guilty to Medicaid fraud, conspiracy to defraud the state, and aiding the the unlicensed practice of medicine. It was 2014. He was ordered to repay taxpayers $300,000 in restitution and surrender his medical license. Count two, conspiracy to defraud the state. Guilty or not guilty? Yes. Johnson served six months behind bars and was out on probation, running his Hello Beautiful Cosmetic Surgery Center in Smyrna when Monique Brocious found him in 2016 and so did the Cobb County Police. Johnson and two employees are now in court facing multiple counts of theft by deception, racketeering, and the unlawful practice of medicine. His conceit was that he thought that he was the rules didn't apply to him. In his opening statement, Prosecutor Jason Marbot told the jury that Johnson opened a cosmetic surgery clinic and performed procedures on patients. Marbot argued Shannon Williams posed as a nurse, and she and Dr. Peter Albrich worked side by side with Johnson, knowing Johnson was no longer a licensed doctor. This is a criminal case that the procedure shouldn't have happened at all. This case is about redemption, a ro road to redemption. Johnson's attorney, Dwight Thomas, Thomas told the jury everything Johnson did was appropriate and permissible and that Johnson was just an office administrator. Dr. Johnson was on one side, Dr. Obrich was on the other side. But when Monique Brocious later testified she was sure Nathaniel Johnson performed cosmetic procedures on her, Thomas got her to admit she signed paperwork before that procedure saying Dr. Peter Albrich would be her physician. That's something that you can read. Still she dug in her heels and insisted Nathaniel Johnson lied to her about being a doctor. Every day I remember exactly what happened to me. And every day I know exactly who I spoke to, how to introduce themselves, and who took my money every day. Prosecutor Jason Marbid told the jury there were 45 victims in this case, but he promised that all of them would not come into court to testify. The trial is expected to last into next week. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.